Welcome to Liberal Buzz. I'm here. I'm your Denise. I'm your host, Denise Dory. You can follow me on Twitter, Denise Dory, if you like, and we're going to go through my tweets. Today, my guest is Steve Crane, and our issue, our main topic tonight, he'll be discussing with me is the answer is cannabis. <laughs> Whatever the Ooh. question is, the answer <laughs> is cannabis. That's, that's a given. So with no further ado, I'm going to get to the Twitter so I can get you all following me. And tell you what's been on my mind since I saw you last time. And we're going to start with, of course, Treasure Island is Toxic, an introduction by Carol Harvey. She's a, an author that uh, of some article about a series of 12 articles published in the Bayview Times. I think I have a call already. No? Yes? Welcome to Liberal Buzz. Oh, Denise, you need to turn the audio up on. It's low. Oh, Denise, you need to turn the audio up on. Okay, turn the volume up. Talk in the mic. <laughs> okay. So you hear that station, people? Turn the volume up. So here we go. I'll talk louder. <coughs> How about that? Low-income folks on Treasure Island live with 10 to 12 of the worst, world's most dangerous banned chemicals. I mean, these chemicals are banned worldwide, and they're living with 10 out of 12 of all the, of the worldwide chemicals that are banned to manufacture, export, import, and these people are living with them. Of course, they're low-income people, and if they move the rich people in, they'll clean it up for them. Trust me. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you think I'm mad, I am. So uh, when I say there's no way to delay that trouble coming every day, and I'm watching, and I'm waiting, well... We can do a little more than watch and wait. We can work for liberal candidates, too. There, that's something we can do. And who knows the Koch brothers with ASA, Amer that's Americans for Safe Access, the one percenters taking away our civil right to grow our herb. And that uh, we're occupying the herb there because they're, they're putting it, that the assembly has this AB 266, which is um, actually not good for our, uh, our the patient community because it, it it's actually predatory. It's for profit our it's for profit our uh, our uh, can they're trying to privatize our herb and pri uh, in the process it, it'll be for prop for someone else's profit and no one will be able to grow it except for a few people who can pay maybe ten thousand dollars for a permit <laughs> you know and it's just just read about it and it'll make me mad it made me mad and it, if it doesn't make you mad you're just pay please please help us defeat this. There's letters you can write. I don't know. We, we're support MCLR. And this, the Republicans are actually actively calling to shred the Constitution. So if 38 states ratify this, say goodbye to, you know, we the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union. <laughs> yeah. hmm. So, uh, and then there's a cover-up for 40 years of Laetrile calling that poison. So it's, it, it's in apricot pits and so forth. And plum, you know, stone fruits. So that's, uh, there's a whole story about that. I haven't time. If I had an hour show, I'd talk more about it. But I will get, you know, please read the article. <laughs> and um, keep our land safe from the Koch brothers. You can sign that petition. And uh, now they made synthetic heroin legal for little kids. Isn't that horrible? You know, this Oxycontin, now little kids can have it. But not <laughs> cannabis. Really? Ugh. It just, my blood's still boiling from the last thing I was reading. Okay, and, um. So be careful what you put on your uh, private messages because they will tell the cops if it, they find it. They do re monitor it for criminal activity. And vote for a fair Democratic San Francisco and ignore the DCCC's GOP endorsements because the Democratic County Central Committee gets money. Some of those people, that, like Ed Lee, has got money from the GOP to run for office. 
So what are Democrats doing getting money? Because uh, I didn't know we had Republicans in San Francisco. Did you? <laughs> Did you, do? you know, they don't call themselves that, but they, you know, they're, they're, it's like Scott Wiener and, you know, other people. They're, I could go on and on about this, but anyway. Uh, so Tacoma moves to close dozens of mar medical marijuana shops to enrich the one percent <coughs> gatekeepers up there. So we've got the gatekeepers coming after our herb. And, you know, we don't have the lobbyists they do. Now, um, uh, now Scotland issued a gener uh, genetically modified crop ban, which is great. I'm gl so glad to hear about that. And a mathematician un uncovered widespread election fraud, and Kansas is trying to keep her quiet because we're talking about open source ballot. That was on a previous show where the, the ballots are uh, the, uh, the back end of the voting, which is the software, is... Uh, private. It's so private it takes a room full of software engineers just to decode it. Right? We talked about that. So anyway, I'm going <laughs> to, and the FBI investigating Ed Lee, yay, keep it up. And of course, KPIX was trying to clean up after it and make it seem like he was the victim. But <coughs> F, those big bad FBI, I don't know, it's reckless to, you know, trash talk the FBI. <laughs> but anyway, for a TV station to do that. And uh, mapping what San Francisco will look like after the sea levels rise. And the hashtag for that is tech fail, Facebook, Google, because uh, where they'll be underwater. Mm -hmm. Google's going to be underwater <laughs> when you know we're on, at the Shoreline Amphitheater, where the, you know in Mountain View. That's going to be underwater, folks. So that was that's why I said tech fail. So uh, now the NSA requested a warrantless search. Now I should have deleted that tweet. So let's just okay. So let's let's get back to. I've only got some, I'm running out of time. So let's get back to. Um, the studio at hand, and so my guest here, Steve Crane, and our other two guests named Mango Ma Madness. Oh God. Mana Mango. Mana Mango. There's and, a yeah, mana and a mango yes. that were crossed and yes. provided us with this lovely source of nature that we uh, just don't seem to understand. And uh, I think it's time to really change. And this country, if it was had had really the gumption and and were smart they'd look back in history and see what marijuana was before 1930 and the tax act because this plant right here is the answer i believe that and i believe that in this country we're wasting a lot of resources and a lot of material and a lot of hard labor and a hot hard a lot of hard people's work have just gone aside and i think it really is time for us to change this plant is amazing. This plant provides so much oxygen per plant life uh, compared to almost any plant on the planet. And uh, then on top of that, it eats mo more carcinogens and more types of carcinogens than almost any plant we can find on the planet. Uh, so I think this is the answer. Uh, this plant also creates mad fuel that is near to zero carbon emissions when you burn it. Uh, it can create textiles. It can create so much building material that we use every day and we just go through mad trees. Uh, and the trees are there to provide oxygen to cap this emissions problem that we have in the first place. And if anybody says that we didn't create the emission problems, we're, they're just silly. I mean, before petroleum was being unearthed and coal and all these other things that we burn with, you know, little knowledge and just very destructively and towards the earth, you know, towards what we live on, what we stand on, and what we should trust. And I'm saying now that this is the plant that can provide a future for so many people. And the key is, is that we already have the infrastructure for it. Our highways are set up to where we could plant huge, huge rows of area that we could irrigate. And it'd be worth it. The water would be well spent. And not only that, it would create good soil building things. Uh, the, the, you know, it, there's a big, huge problem, and it always sets forth in my mind, and it's companies like Monsanto that create all this chemical industry into growing our crops. There's no diversity to it. They do it in other countries. Uh, and, you know, it's the practices like that, if we stop that and created just half of that momentum towards marijuana, I bet that we would see a change in the future of our country. Uh, and I think that we'd see a future in our breathing. This plant reminds you, you know, it tells you that, that, that there, it's like one of the keys to life that we all seem to not understand, that this plant provides so much, and we 
just outlaw it. We're making an outlaw. And we've made people in throughout history uh, outlaws for it. And, uh, you know, it should stop. It should stop, and the plant should be planted, and the plant should create new jobs, industry, textiles, building materials, fuel. How many questions do you have about uh, money and all those things that could be created with marijuana? Marijuana is an amazing plant. Uh, I could tell you that a small amount of space less than the size of this little room, I could plant more fuel than I need to run my car or whatever. Uh, it's, it's amazing. One person can do that. Imagine with all the people that we have in this country, we could invite people in this country to work. We would have mad jobs. There'd be no end to it. And the coolest part is, is that you would burn the fuel that you're creating right there on the infrastructure that's already there to have all the commerce move back and forth. I know that it would be trying on a lot of already existing companies and institution, car, whatever, because they all burn petroleum. But, you know, hey, it's whether we want to breathe or not. I have a lot of respiratory problems. I grew up in the inner city of Baltimore, and it was nothing but pollution the whole time I was growing up. I remember, and the snow would turn so gray so fast. You know, it would land, and it would almost be gray as it touched the ground. You know, and, and that's what I grew up in. And now I'm full of respiratory problems. I can't sue nobody for, you know, uh, the air being dirty, but that is what's free. You can't avoid it. It's everywhere. Petroleum. We burn that crap out of it, and it's time we stopped. It's time we did something good for ourselves. And I'm saying if there's all these questions, then here's the answer. This herb right here, this, this treat that the earth has provided us with is just amazing. And I, I can't say enough about it. And then I see it's just, you know, it's canophobia everywhere. You know, there's so many, so many stop signs, it's hard to even spot one that would be, you know, sufficient. Uh, the DEA, Monsanto, all these people are against herb. It's like they told uh, the doctor from the health network service, uh, Gaputa, they told him that it was an evil plant and it was a drug and it was no good and it had no medicinal value. And then what? You know, 20 years later, he's backpedaling. So, you know, I mean, obviously, he, he even admitted that the DEA didn't know what they were talking about, and the plant had medicinal value, and he saw it firsthand and witnessed it. But yet those accounts just go so small. You know, Scarlett was one child out of so many that lived with epilepsy every day, and this plant is a cure to those types of ailments. Uh, there's so many ailments that this plant can cure and help provide somebody with a sufficient life to live instead of living with mad disabilities. Uh, it has so many medical aspects to it, it's unbelievable. And we don't study any of them. Everybody's just sitting back waiting for who to do it. Uh, you know, and the plant is there for the taking. So many people with big money and all this cool stuff, you want to really do something cool, take some of them fascist dollars and throw them into an herb, you know, into an herb scene and see what happens. You know, create, do a little creation, get a little people with some study and to get the right kind of study and to happen to ensure that the people in the future, like my children, have some kind of life to live. Uh, you know, I would like to see something really good happen in this country. I don't know. What do, what do you think? I think it's overdue. I think that the manipulation by uh, a f uh, the few have hurt the many. And by that, I mean that cannabis is a civil right. It's been a civil right. We have cannabis receptors on our organs. <laughs> on our <laughs> organs, we have cannabis receptors. Yeah. So everybody, if everybody has cannabis receptors, whether they like it or not, that if you want to make somebody mad that doesn't like cannabis, just tell them that. And so then, you, that's in a way, that's educating them, you know, because first they get mad and then you win, you know. <laughs> so then, then, so I think that it, we could get a lot of autonomy going by, and we have a call. Welcome to uh, Liberal Buzz. You're you're on the air with Denise and Steve. Hello. Hello. Denise. Can you put your ma uh, mouth closer to the phone, or maybe that would help. Hello. How are you? We can't hear you. You have to speak up. Hello. Is it Denise? Yes. Hi. How are you? Speak. We can't hear you. Can you? I don't know. <laughs> Try back again. 
Maybe he'll get a get better connection next time. Well, thanks for calling anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Um, <coughs> I was saying, if you want to, if you really can make that, if cannabis has that many benefits, then it has the potential for a lot of different entrepreneurships. You can use it for air, you know, they're, they're finding more and more uses for it all the time. And so it's not for the few, it's for the many. Because we could restructure society around the plant. Well, here's here's one of the big keys is in the country before you know the tax act, so many people made so much from cannabis. In fact, it was most of our paper was made from it. Uh, we weren't cutting large amounts of trees down for paper before, uh, you know, the tax act and plastic companies, all kinds of plastics could have been made out of it. And well, we know that, but Dupont companies. and Dow Chemicals and all these other companies had they just put Hitler. the plug on it. You know, they they, they made it some. Hitler. Yeah, they well, I, I don't want to go into what they did. I'm I'm trying to get people to focus on one thing, and and that is actually getting something done instead of going back to see what really happened because we've gone so many chemical directions that are horrible. I mean, horrible to our health, horrible to the environment, and horrible to a lot of things. Yeah, I'm not looking fracking, for the evil side. I'm looking for the good side, and the good side to me. Is like we could go into all that stuff for hours. There's so much of it. That's my point. My point is, is why don't we do something good that will actually clean up the environment and actually go in a direction that, I, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that believes that cannabis could create a lot. Uh, it could take us out of the hole deeply and create so many jobs, so many different types of items can be made for marijuana. It's, it's unbelievable. And it makes very durable and strong products. We could be making all the paper that this country writes on, which isn't as much as it used to be, obviously, since computers and technology. But I'll tell you this, Clothing, so much of paper textile. is being made from trees still. And uh, building materials, that's, it's a, a very durable plant. It can create some very strong, uh, durable, long-lasting ma building materials for building houses and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, so it, it also stops trees from being cut down that way. Uh, the just growing of it is amazing because it creates so much oxygen and it eats a lot of the horrible carcinogens right. that we all talk about. But I don't hear, you know, I hear the scientists say, oh, yeah, about the chemicals being out there. And then I hear all about, you know, but it stops there. The conversation doesn't go beyond that to understand what the plant actually does because it cleans the air. It doesn't just provide oxygen. It doesn't provide so much oxygen if it isn't getting as many carcinogens. So the plant eats, it filters our air that we breathe. It cleans a lot of the atmosphere, the lower atmosphere that we all live in on planet Earth, and it cleans it. It reoxygenates the air, it creates oxygen. So to me, that's a winner right there. But then to go past that, it's fruit, it's flower, the seed, you can create uh, edible oils that are very good in omega-3 and fatty acids, all that good stuff, you can have that, and then you can have so many different additives to food, uh, you don't have to have the THC in it to do that. There's a lot of different benefits for marijuana that are not have anything to do with getting high and hippies and pot and all that and smoking it. And you know, there's a lot of other uh, opportunities from this plant that have been just cut down from time beginning. You know, and I think it's time it stopped. You know, I think it's time that America got creative like it's supposed to be this creative world and creative country uh, to get into some creation there and actually start from something that is good, that's wholesome, that puts, uh, you know, food on a plate. It really does. It does literally put food on a plate. And it creates so many benefits, resources, and the jobs are astronomical. Uh, if you can't come up with, you know, the dollars for it that way, th I mean, there's so many different aspects to this plan. It's amazing. Uh, you can't give me another plant, and I wish somebody would. I give them the challenge to find me another plant that can produce all the different things that marijuana does. There isn't. It's impossible. Nope, there isn't. It's an impossibility. There is no fruit tree. There is no vegetable plant. There is no other plant that can create so much from one plant. Uh, I, I don't know any. I can't think of any. And I've used a lot of building materials. I was a carpenter for a long time, and I built houses. I always use wood. And I always thought about that, how many trees I'm putting, you know, in, on the earth every day, you know. And I always thought about that as I was a carpenter for a long time. And uh, marijuana has always been that answer. I, I have a friend who actually used the 
fibrous material to make snowboards, surfboards, all kinds of stuff. But before that, he used to make these building, like we used to build little huts and stuff with it. And it was great. It was the greatest stuff because you could bind it together. It would be so strong and so wind tight. We could build a room, you know, half the size of this out of those panels. He made like yeah. square panels that we yeah. tied together. And then he took uh, the 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 herb and he spun it. He, ste he dried it, steamed it, and then spun it, and then took it and bent it in the different shapes. So you can make the roof and all that. And then we would just tie, tie on uh, tarps to it. And it was the strongest tent in the world. I mean. And things were great. We'd strap them down to the ground real good, you know, peg them, and, and, and they were great. And I mean, that's just simple something somebody did in their backyard or whatever. But I'm just saying that marijuana is definitely uh, an incredible herb. Uh, it's, it's the master of them all, in my, in my opinion, because it does create so much oxygen. And it does eat so many carcinogens. And the benefits to us, you know, on planet Earth is just astronomical. And and it's illegal. MCLR. <laughs> it's illegal. What, what what is the what is the deal with these laws? Who 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 keeps this going? You know, is this a benefit to the war on drugs, or are they really trying to put marijuana as that war on drugs? Because that's absurd. You know, that's just stupid and absurd and a waste well, of resources and a destruction of so many lives. We that have thirty. We have twenty seconds. But um, MCLR is. Uh, is going to fix what AB 266 is going to mess up because they want to take away our right to grow collectively with um, the, these. Uh, so we've got to stop. Well, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to end with was this, is that, that the MCLR uh, initiative, move your hand there, 2016 grow, turn it this way, turn it this way so I can see it. It says uh, legalize now, 2000, 